Hi it's me Sunil and today we will explore the beauty of Kanheri Caves. Make sure to pack water bottles for inside. From here you can have a brief about the caves. We've seen so many great sights on our tours. From the mountains and glaciers of the South Island to the rolling hills and valleys. So many highlights of our trip already, but we were keen to add another, with a place we'd heard so much, the Kanheri Caves. The entrance is beautiful and the caves are majestic, something which I had never seen before so far. Well this is also an option for reaching the caves. Cave 1 is unfinished, originally planned to have a double-storied veranda and a porch, apart from the pillared hall. These caves date from the 1st century BC to the 10th century CE. 109 caves have been carved from the basalt. These caves are must for anyone who loves history. It is an invigorating trip that one would not mind, whether one has interests in history, culture or just plain adventure. The cave is dated to 5th-6th centuries AD. There is an stupa in this cave, let's explore. The place is well maintained and sees a steady flow of tourists. These sculptures are of later additions and are datable to around 5th to 6th centuries AD. There are about 34 unfinished paintings of Lord within the caves. The most prominent among the excavations at Kanheri is the Cave 3. The facade of the hall is pierced by three doors with two groups of two couples, each group. The carvings are superb. The side walls are sculpted extensively with two massive images of standing Lord in Varana.
Apart from the paintings, one should also visit the Vihara prayer hall, and the different monasteries around the cave, for a glimpse of former Buddhist occupation and life. A row of 34 pillars divide the hall into a central nave and flanking aisles. The pillars of the hall are not uniform and of different styles and shapes and devoid of symmetry. A congregation hall with huge stone pillars. A stupa is provided at the apse of the hall, which measures 4.9 m in diameter and 6.7 m in height. Tourists here were busy taking selfie, and so I also had a selfie here. The roof of the nave is barrel vaulted. There are evidences of provision of wooden rafters to the vaulted, ceiling of nave which are gone now. From here the panoramic view of the valley is awesome. One of the airiest places in the city, the Kanheri Caves premises offers a pleasant break, from the pollution and the noisy, metropolitan life. When one visits the Kanheri Caves, there is a lot to see, in terms of what the caves have to offer, and even around the caves. Natural streams and rivers around the Kanheri Caves offer stunning views. and beautiful locations for families to enjoy a small picnic while visiting the caves. The location is quiet and peaceful. And you would never believe that you were in Mumbai. No traffic, no fumes, no noise. Our tour took us deep into the cave system, to some very interesting collections of stone formations. With ample lighting here, it's a great place for a photo opportunity, and a chance to quiz the guide, about how these structures were made. The cool air of the caves, gives way to warm humid air outside.
it's quite incredible to think that wonderful caves like this are still exist. It makes you wonder how many other, undiscovered caves there must be beneath. The land is scattered with caves exceeding 109 in number. Major geological processes have endowed the bowels of the earth with true monuments to nature, filled with charm and mystery. Human history has been linked to these mystical caves. Many of them were refuges for primeval man. Others were important places of worship. Many caves have been linked to religious tradition. There are also many small caves that were always considered sacred places. Some of the caves here fascinate visitors with their inner, complex decoration. The statues themselves are magnificent. These sculptures are of later additions and are datable to around 5th to 6th centuries AD. And some even have the paint still on them. The caves are formations of limestone, stalactites stalagmites, hanging from the ceiling or growing upwards from the floor.
apart from being one of the special sights to see when traveling around this city, a visit to a Kanheri cave is a deeply mystical experience. The power of nature, manifesting itself in the silence, unseen by human eyes, has captivated all cultures. Many places you feel the lack of fresh air and very hot and humid, but mostly it is manageable and you would notice tourists of all age groups are coming to visit here. The caves are hewn from solid basalt rock, all caves were painted in the past, but only traces remain. Preservation of Kanheri Caves as a whole with its monuments, has been ensured both through legislation, and by physical restoration of the caves and its sculptures. The basic legislation enacted are, the ancient monuments and archaeological sites and remains Act of 1958 and Rules 1959, in Indian Penal Code. The Archaeological Survey of India, Mumbai Circle, on the basis of the legislation and rules, maintain and manage the monuments. The physical measures undertaken for conservation cover include stabilization of the rock face, construction of supports to the cave structures where pillars have collapsed, and consolidation of cave floors and construction of a parapet wall surrounding the site. At Kanheri Caves there are monkeys too, so be careful while having your meal. Overall a very good place to visit something different. Well my tour had come to an end, but my experience here was fantastic as the history, art and culture attached to the place is of immense value and importance. Reaching Kanheri Caves, by air, the airports of Mumbai are connected to all major cities of India, and the world by numerous international and domestic airlines. By railway, the city of Mumbai is connected to the rest of India, by central and western railway lines. From Mumbai, a suburban train can be taken from the Church Gate station to Borivali, from where a cab can be taken to reach the Kanheri Caves, which is 40 kilometers away from Mumbai. By road, Mumbai is connected to all major towns and cities of the country by National Highway Numbers 3, 4, 6, 8, 9 and 17.